welcome to Louisville. This is where I live, but it's not where I spend all my time. I love to travel. I am completely addicted. Ever since the first trip when my husband and I went backpacking through Europe. 11 years later, I'm on my second passport and I just can't stop traveling. When I'm not traveling, I'm a food writer here in Louisville. I know that my friends and family could say I'm adventurous, I'm intrepid, that I'm spirited, and they say that I'm unstoppable. I don't see any of this. One of the best things about travel is discovery. Part of the reason I fly 10,000 miles is to discover new things and learn new things and have adventures. And when I come home from these discoveries, I have to talk about them. I'm writing about it, I'm Facebooking, I'm tweeting, I'm vlogging, and I also have to keep pushing past my limits. And I do that when I travel. If I can figure out this train that's in Greek, I figure I can do anything. And you know what? I can. So you wouldn't guess this by looking at me, but I am crazy strong. I grew up a national powerlifting record, and I'm pretty sure that if I don't get a job hosting a travel TV show, I've got a career in arm wrestling hustling. One of the most amazing things about travel is meeting people who do inspiring things. There's a pastry chef in Paris, and I got to go behind the scenes in a macaroni shop on my last visit and see this man making his macarons, which just happened to be my favorite thing in the world. And he's been doing this for 30 or 40 years, but it doesn't matter that he's gotten up every day and done the exact same thing because he loves it and it's everything in the world to him. So I may not be Johnny Cash, and I've not been everywhere, man. But man, I've been a lot of places. I've drummed with desert nomads in the Sahara. I've swam the Grotto in Capri, and I've biked down the Champs Elysees in Paris, and I've eaten pancakes as big as my head in Estonia, and I've spent the night with long-lost family in Slovakia. I've joined a parade in Bangkok for the ordination of a Buddhist monk. I've blitzed the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul, and I've climbed the Swiss Alps at Skiltorn. So I live in a really tiny house because there's nothing in the world that's as important to me as being able to travel and have these adventures and challenge myself and just see how other people live and what their lives are like and see what I can learn from them and see what I can learn about myself. Because I think really, at the end of the day, when I come home from a trip, I've learned something about myself and what I'm all about. And that's why I keep going.